Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is TTB, good to see all of you today here with uh, another little experiment. We have the Annihilator 1A and as I said in the last video, I wonder what the most amount of Daka is that you can do in a mech like that. And I thought to myself, well, LB10 solid slugs are probably the best way of doing it, but what about AC10 burst fire? Would they be the most fun and satisfying way to do it? So, I give you the quad ac10 burst fire annihilator let's have a look at the build and it is very straightforward guys you just take this annihilator you just take away all the weapons you slap in four ac10 burst fires and you slap in a total of 10 uh, 11 tons of ammo now we have no idea how this thing is gonna work in terms of heat dissipation um we will basically not be cooling very much heat per second here as you can see 0.8 per second um so I'm thinking this will be very toasty. I wonder if it's just better to just can half a ton of ammo just for one double heatsink and make this a little bit safer. But uh, overall, I don't think it's gonna change much. As the AI mates, I've chosen Atlas RS, Atlas D, and we're gonna bring a Banshee 3S just for comparison to see how the Banshee does against the Atlas. Let's get going. Now, I have very strong reservations for this build, guys, because I think it's just going to overheat like crazy. We're running a total of Enemy four burst fire weapons, guys. And these are not small ones. So, as as we'll see how it goes. We have substantial combat bonus Let's make a nice firing group off, here. Like sure so, like so. Yourself. That should work. I think. Okay. Well, the joys of the Annihilator, guys. It is slow and majestic, but slow. So we're going to work over to our checkpoint alpha here to set up our hold. And uh, as you can see, we have 400 shots in total right now, which sounds like a lot. But remember, these are, these are quadro weapons. So basically, we have 100 shots and that's it. So 100 times 40 damage. So in theory, you, this build could do 4000 damage and then it can't do anything anymore. The range is 450, so we have to get a little bit closer, which is fine by me. Um, there's one of our Atlas, there's the other Atlas, and I think behind us then is going to be the Banshee. That could just see the Banshee. Up oh, there he is. That's one of the Banshees that has a little bit more weapons, so hopefully a little bit more useful than the normal Banshee that you always see with that one puny autocad and that one PPC. It's just a, it's just a horribly bad build. Ne never ever build your Banshees like that, guys. Okay. We've arrived at the military complex. Once again, I just like how the game looks. And also how my AI mates are just smashing stuff. <laughs> you never want to invite these guys to your China store. Of course, me neither, but... You know. Big stompy rabbits. Okay, let's see. There's something dropping oh, right behind me. Right on top of me. <laughs> oh, is it Christmas already? Oh, that sounds nice. Every salvo. A nice, cautious bit of damage in here. I'm shooting all four, by the way. I just was shooting two. Whoa! <laughs> he just folded around himself, apparently. Um, let me go ahead and kill this thing, maybe. Nope. Nope. Aha! Got him. So this is definitely not made for shooting down helicopters. <laughs> but apparently it's made to murder locusts. Okay. Oh, contact's incoming, right on top of us, once again. This is like... I don't even know what's going on here anymore, guys. <laughs> it's stuck in. Beautiful. This is a massacre. I mean, it's getting a little bit hot now. But the damage is amazing. I mean, the cooling is nothing to talk about. Like, we don't even have cooling right now. But, um, hey. We're killing these guys left and right. I'm just waiting here, I'm not even moving right now. Just trying to cool down. As you can see, cooling down is a tough ask because uh, my mech is insanely hot. We're losing about one heat per second right now if I'm moving. So, <laughs> trying to cool down is a tough ask. But, the firepower, I love it. I love it, it's ridiculous. Right down my alley. 
Yep, there's another dropship coming in. Delivering a J. Edgar. Be very afraid, guys. The J. Edgars are landing. Whoa, okay, is it the second or third? I stopped counting. Doesn't matter. First thing we'll see is the classic cicada. You know what? I'm just gonna go for all weapon groups, everything at the same time. I don't even wanna worry about it. Good job, AI pilot, with the weird German accent. Ah, I missed. Ha 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 ha, not this time. Rip, wow. They just walked over him. Ah, here we go. We are Oscar Mike. Ah, it's beautiful. <laughs> you have to aim quite a bit ahead of the targets, but the damage potential. Ah, oh, it's like an AC20 every couple of seconds. It's not easy to hit with this thing, though. Yeah, definitely not made for moving targets. Whoa, okay, that guy just got murdered. All right. Um, there we go. Time to cool down once again. Oh, never mind. We have to walk a little bit, so it's fine. Hey yeah, guys, uh, walk backwards. Ooh, there's something big in there. It's a rifleman, two Jackers potentially, and a Victor. Okay. We're almost in range, and we're almost cooled down. <laughs> All right, Victor. Time to feel my wrath. The Wrath of Khan! Ah, TTP. <laughs> Just hammering away that side torso. There, it's gone. Now we go straight for CT. RIP! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, holy shot. What's, what's shooting me here? That's a partisan. Daisy twos. I had to kill him here. I knew I would shut down, but I had to kill him. That thing just does too much damage otherwise. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Guys, can you please engage targets? Need to be careful now. Oops, that was my teammate's legs. Okay. And then there was just a rifleman left. This mech is just way too hot, guys. <laughs> it is, I love it, but it's just way too hot. Maybe with less ammo and a um, lot of small lasers, it would be more feasible. Right now it's just like a, a concept. A concept album, basically. Let's cool down for a sec here. Those should be the last mechs here coming in for us. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, big guys, big guys. All right, all right. Let's go straight for CT here. It's not even moving here. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's go for the archer. That was CT. Ouch, we're hot. Yep, as you can see, there is no cooling to speak of in this mech. But hey, if I can kill it within the allotted heat, we're good. <laughs> oh, firepower is ridiculous. <sighs> the heat is also ridiculous. Unfortunately, the only thing I could do to actually make this a little bit cooler would be to lower armor like crazy. Right up the ass! There we go. He's down. And now we only have to walk back 700 meters um, to determine... Like, where, where do we have to walk? Like, what? There's a... Okay, that is... I think that's the most Rihanna-esque um, drop point that we've ever seen. Because I have no clue how to get out of here. I don't think you can get up here, so I have to we have to go around maybe here. Um <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, guys. Or maybe we could go around over there. Okay, never mind then. We'll try that. I mean I do have more heat left and more ammo left, so why not just go ahead and you know murder something? Oh, that was a good dodge. I 
system offline. <laughs> Just dancing around me, no flamer. One single flamer. Ah, uh, cruel irony. As if the mech wasn't hot enough. This also shows the uh, problem, by the way, guys, with burst fire weapons. If your targets are small and fast, you're having a huge problem with the bursties. So I basically have two options to get there. Actually, no, it's right in front of us. Never mind. I was criticizing Rihanna too early. I thought it was behind that um, mountain, but it turns out it's in front of it. So what that means is that we can go here, turning around, and we'll just shoot and walk backwards. Target acquired. And that Orion should be dead. Um, dude. Oh, he's lost a leg. Okay, well, that makes sense. I guess. I'm gonna try, try and cover my guys here while they go over here. Copy. Nope. Three here, please. Confirmed. Okay. Show yourself, evil enemies. There's one. Alright. Haha! <laughs> Your puny missiles can't do anything against me and my Dakar machine! There we go, he's done. That's still the Orion. <laughs> I used the curvature of the weapon to hit over that uh, little area. I still have half my ammo left, so I think this could be viable if you go with 3 tons less ammo and 3 more double heat sinks. Or a lot less ammo and just small lasers, but then you have to Remember, you won't be shooting a lot. There comes the VTOL. There goes the VTOL. <laughs> Easy. I wonder how much more damage we can do with this thing. And I'm, I'm artificially actually trying to elongate the time between the fights here, just so that I have time to cool down. Um, I have to say though, my CT is very damaged, so maybe I shouldn't be fighting this. Maybe I should not do this. Because we're not looking very healthy. Uh, it's almost impossible to hit this guy. There we go. I think we got the leg. Boom! That was worth it. Oh no! No! The onion is shooting me! Kill the onion! Ah, come on. We can kill the onion, right? Victory or death? Victory! Also, let's get out of here because we're ready to die. <laughs> yep. So yeah, I actually badmouthed Rihanna for no reason. That dropship point is okay. And we are out of, here. Out of here. Right before the enemy attacks straight from the sun. Somebody has apparently watched a certain movie. Well, let's see how we did. That was a little bit of an extravagant experiment. And that's exactly what I expected it to be. So we did 1,663 damage, 17 total kills, 2 air units, 2 vehicles, 13 mechs, and 609 damage taken. So, what's the verdict, guys? Quad burst fire AC10. Is it viable or not? I would say nope. Definitely not viable. There are a lot better builds for the Annihilator out there. So don't let your um, love for the burst fire AC10s deceive you there. What we need to test though is burst fire AC5s versus the UX5s and see how that actually compares. Because I think that will be a much fairer comparison and it will also leave you some tonnage for extra cooling and extra ammo. Well, this has been TTB with some more German mech engineering. Leave me a comment down below. Drop me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you like the science that we put into all of this. And of course, if you want to go ahead and support me, check out my Patreon page. The link is down below in the video description. Hope you guys are having a great day. This has been TTB and take care and bye bye.